Let's start with these geometric transformations. As I listed here, some examples, a square should be translated, rectangle rotated, triangle reflected, a pentagon dilated. So let's begin with one by one. And first, in order to do that, I'm on the GeoGebra Classic app. If you don't know that, please go to geogebra.org and click on app downloads, go to classic six and here you are. Uh, you would see I have changed the grid here and if you want to know how to do that, make sure you are, let me just reset it to the original one. Yeah, so this is the original one. What do you have to do? Go to the setting part first of all and on X axis, you can just select distance. Actually, I wanted to have um, every point should move by 0 0.5. So in Y axis as well, I want to give the same thing. And in the grid, if you like this grid, that's fine. Otherwise, you can actually hide the minor grid lines. So I'm on the grid and you just select major grid lines. So it's going to look like that. And here also you can pick up the distances if you want. If you want the bold lines, you can. Okay, so this is done. Now, if we want to do a translation, rotation, reflection, what we should have, first of all, the objects. So I'm going to use the same thing for every shape. So here is in the toolbar on the first, second, third, and fourth. If you see the fifth icon, which has a triangle shape, click on it and you will see a regular polygon or any polygon you want to create. So here I'm clicking the second option, regular polygon, and it's gonna ask me two points on the grid, and then it is gonna ask me number of vertices. So if it is a square, you can click on four, otherwise you can change it to five, three, whatever. So I'm gonna click four. Once your command is done, you please go to the first icon and click on move because otherwise in GeoGebra the previous command still remain active so now you can move your things here but what I have told you because I have made the grid with 0 0.5 gap so I want my point should also move by 0 0.5 so in order to do that I'm gonna click on the setting the magnet just next to it and it's called fixed to grid so when I'm going to move now, my points are going to move by every 0 0.5. Look, it's better for the geometrical class because uh, you don't want to worry about 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. If you don't like 0 0.5, you can also have 1, 2, 3, etc. So just change the distance in the grid. So in the x-axis, you change the distance, not 0 0.5, rather 1. So yeah, anyways, now we have our shape. Now let's do the transformation. So in order to do the transformation, the first of all, let's do the translation. So translate. So that is the first command we are going to use. Translate. And I hope you can see it. Translate. There are two options. Translate object and vector or vector starting point. Because I want to translate my object by a vector so i'm going to pick the first option and here i'm going to enter my object my object is poly1 so you can actually type poly1 and then vector uh, x-axis how many movements you want y-axis what you want so let's do three and two and here you are so when you do that you're going to get your second uh, shape which is in the same color but you can always change the color. So I'm going to do that. So click on the shape and go to color, change it, maybe blue. That's fine. And what you can do now, because this is like now it is defined three by two. So it's going to only move by three by two, wherever you place your first rectangle or first square. Now, what I want here, uh, it's not really interactive for me. So I want to make it dynamic for three and two as well. So for that purpose, I'm going to create two sliders. One is for X, one is for Y. So first I'm going to give the letter A equals to, let's say two and B equals to three. Just type a letter 
and enter its number but make sure that particular letter you are typing should not be defined already in this GeoGebra okay so uh, you see you can move this point and only the problem in these two sliders is like they are not gonna change by 0 0.5 but we can do that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually change their settings so go to slider and increment 0 0.5 here also increment 0 0.5 so it's done now they are gonna move only by 0.5 so what we are going to do now let's just change the vector here click type a comma b and you're done now you have your sliders you can show on screen just click on these dots it's going to appear on the screen you can move them wherever you want and you can also rename them like if you want so right now i'm not doing that so just you can see here so they are moving with the same thing so you can see x-axis one more thing I like like this is for left and right motion right but this is for the vertical motion if you see so for that I'm gonna click on this uh, B slider click on go to settings and here in the settings you go to horizontal make it vertical done now it it's gonna appear on vertical if you think the line is so thin don't worry we have a solution for that as well just go to settings and change its setting as well so here it's called the line style and you can change its uh, thickness so just change the thickness to two and a little bit better yeah so you can do that so one more thing if you want to see the translation for all the points you can do that as well so do it one by one let's say translate object a and then vector same a comma b right so translate you can just repeat it what you can do click on these three dots and duplicate input and just change a to b so this way you are going to get your coordinates as well and if you want to have a reference point that from where they should go that also you can do so the first part was done the translation part so translation part like you can create sliders and then use a command which is called translate